this? Hey, Charles, what is this? Um, I... I, I don't understand what you're doing. Wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry for yourself. Are you even looking at the time? How long is it going to take you to finish this up? Forever? You can't agree. You have nothing to say. Absolutely nothing. You can't agree. Sharon, you were in the bathroom an hour before I got in there. You had your bath. I've been downstairs for over an hour. Yet you're not ready. What are you painting? Oh. What are you painting? Kelvin, I'm a woman. You can't equate your dressing up to mine. I, I have to do my proper makeup. I have to do other things. I still have to touch it But off. we have an event to attend. No. A timely event. I have people in there. They, they're going to leave if we don't get there on time. You think if I wouldn't waste the whole day dressing up, I wouldn't do the same? Listen, I'm giving you one minute. I'm going to go downstairs right now. One more minute. If you're not there in one minute, you'll find your way to the event. What is this? Two hours? I'm leaving! I'm coming! Ready. The only reason we are attending this wedding together as a couple is because my entire family will be there. More especially my mother. Deaconess Margaret Okafo, who wouldn't condone the fact that I'm getting a divorce from my wife of barely two years. Not to talk of the scandals that will come with it. So I beg you, be at your best behavior. Bright smiles, shoulders up. Don't go there and start embarrassing me. Are we clear? Maybe. Hey, do not call me that. You have no right to call me that. I am not your baby. The only reason we are still in this charade called marriage is because you insisted that we keep pretending. So it's fine. Enjoy it while it lasts. Remember, bright smiles. Showed us off. Madam, your suit belt. And you better wipe that ugly look off your face. Face and start rehearsing how to give bright smiles. Anyway, that shouldn't be so difficult for you now since you you make a living out of pretending, right? Except of course. You are calling this thing please, now.
Why are you not taking your call? It's none of your business. I hope it's not what I presume. What is this now? What is, are you okay? Are you, is something wrong with you? What, what is wrong with you? Come on, do this one now. Eh? What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Is it your, your plan to get us killed or something? If your life is no longer important to you, mine is to me. I know it's a girl that was calling you. That's why you refuse to take her. What call. difference does it make if it's a girl that is calling me? You know what this is? No emotions involved. You're on your own. I'm on my own. We're literally strangers in that house. So don't come here and start pretending like we're husband and wife. There are people waiting for us. Let's get going. Look at the embarrassment you're causing me the whole the whole of Lagos. Didn't you hear me? Huh? Sharon, am I not talking to you? Didn't you hear me? You want to prove stubborn, right? It's fine. I'll start going. If I get to that event before you. That's fine. Wait, Kelvin! Kelvin, hold on, wait! Kelvin, please. Why are you like this now? You don't seem fair to me. It's our marriage. Which marriage? Sharon, which marriage? The one that you destroyed yourself or another one? Please, please, just stop it already. Kelvin, but I've tried to explain to you, but you wouldn't give me a listening ear. I... Listen, I've had a really rough day. I just want to rest. Okay? By the way, you seem to have enjoyed pretending a lot today. I mean, you did it so well. So I'm wondering why you're, why you're crying now. <laughs> you touch me. Okay. 
Kelvin. Kelvin. Kelvin, I'm talking to I you. I heard you the first time. What is it? Okay. Um. Um. I came to apologize. I came to apologize about what happened today at the road. I'm sorry for the embarrassment. I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. Like you said, you're stressed. Baby, you're not meant to be doing this now. You need to... And why do you care so much? Why do you care so much what I'm doing right now? Whether I'm sleeping or not, why do you care? Is that it? I get what this is. It's a deliberate attempt to just piss me off tonight. No. Right? So, so why are you disturbing me? Babe, I'm, I'm making good use of my time. There's no need being in that bedroom with you. I'm here trying to work, work and make ends meet for us. Baby, I'm, I'm not here to fight and I'm not saying you shouldn't work. All I'm saying is that you need to take some rest. You need to sleep. You've stressed hey, yourself. Hey, you're sleep. disturbing me. Uh, how about you do this tomorrow? Today is Saturday. You can do this tomorrow after church. But you, you need to rest, okay? If I get into that room, I'm going to lock you out. So you better leave me alone. I'm going to do whatever you want to do. Of course, sleeping around is not your hobby, right? Go ahead. <sighs> I'm I, leave me alone. I will sleep when I want to. I'm sorry. Kelvin, there's something I don't understand here. Mm. Is this how you are going to be quiet and watch your marriage crumple? Is this? What is marriage without trust? Sharon betrayed the love and trust I had for her. I, why would I be in a marriage where where there's no trust. I don't understand it. What am I supposed to be doing there? What she did is unforgivable. 
are you sure about what you are accusing her of? Or are you just acting on mere speculations? Because you never caught her pants down with any man, did you? Mike, I'm not dumb. I know what I saw. Sharon saw me come into the room and she started pretending, oh, leave me alone, leave me alone, come off it, I'm not a child. The guy on the other hand confirmed it. He said he was supposed to be at a hotel. She probably allowed it there because she didn't think I was going to be home early. Bro, Sharon I know loves you. Sharon loves you with everything in her. And she's working so hard to make your marriage work. I don't see a reason why you are not Mike, reciprocating. Mike, Mike, if you don't have anything else to say, you'd have to excuse me. I'm sorry, I have a lot of work to do. Are you asking me out of your office? Technically, you're asking yourself out. Really? Because I don't understand why you keep... You know what the truth is. I don't know why you're ranting about it. This is, this is done. Uh, get me the files now. Thank you. I'm so sorry I was here when you were calling. I miss you so much. What's up? Soon, as soon as possible. I'm actually working on it. Um, I, I just need my mother to return to the U.S. so that she doesn't count it. I promise you I'll do it. Yeah, trust me. Of course. You're saying tonight. I am... Um, I've given the manager instructions to reserve a room for you. Just let me know when you get there. Okay? Okay, thanks. Love, right. Love you too, baby. Kelvin is having an extramarital affair. I am not sure of that. And how are you? Are you sure of this? I had this conversation over the phone with the girl. He didn't know I was behind him, but I heard it all. 
Mike, I'm gradually losing my husband. Look, you, you can't say that. I don't want you to believe that at all. I know both of you are having misunderstanding right now in your marriage, but trust me, divorce is not an option. Look, Kelvin would not allow the devil, he can't afford to do that, for the devil to control him right now. He can't possibly have an extramarital affair. Trust me. You know, the marriage between both of you, your love story was an inspiration for all of us who are your friends. I, I, I don't think Kelvin will want to put his marriage at risk. If that would make you comfortable, I will find out and I'll talk to him. Trust me. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. It's okay. Please cheer up. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. What do I offer you? Uh, don't worry about what to offer me. I'll be on my way anyways. Oh, okay, all right. Thank you so much. Sure. Just take it easy. Everything will be fine. Mike. What is this now? It doesn't make any sense. You need to stop, really. You need to stop. If you're going to keep bringing up Sharon's issue every time we're trying to have a decent conversation, I'm going to stop coming when you write me. How? Okay. It's because I am not happy with the way things are going between the both of you. Bro, you are so unfair with this issue. Well, you already know she's the one who's... Hey, bro. I have had this a million times. How is it my fault? What about a second chance? What about forgiveness? Someone you loved so much. So why can't you forgive her? Bro, you and Sharon made marriage a beautiful thing. A beautiful union that all of us who were your friends wanted to get married. What happened to all of those promises? What happened to those beautiful memories? Look, it doesn't just make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to you, but it makes a whole lot of sense to me. I'm the one who wears the shoes. I'm the one who knows where it's pinching. Really? If you're not going to stop, I'm going to leave here now. Let's talk about something else. Really? Really? Hey. Um, can I come back later? In a bit. Hi. So it's true. What is true? You're having an affair with another woman. Who is she? I want to know who she is. I demand to know. <laughs> what difference does it make? What does it matter? Sharon and I are getting a divorce. You're willing to abandon everything you and Sharon have shared. The bond, the marriage, all the life promises for a total stranger you just met yesterday. Anyone, see, anyone at this moment is better than Sharon. Goat, lion, zebra, anyone. There's no way I'm going to keep living in that house with a lying cheat. Someone who doesn't care about my trust. No way. No one is perfect. We are all human beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
tired of thinking you could change Cause every day I lose you the more It was a mistake But you won't listen at all You used to love me before Now you're a man my can't recognize Baby it was just a mistake Won't you give our love a second chance A second chance Give our love a second chance A second chance Give our love a second chance A second chance Give our love a second chance A second chance Won't you give our love a second Won't you give our love a second Give our love a second chance A second chance Ouch, ouch, ouch me um maybe we should take us to the hospital no 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 you, you don't have to okay i've taken some medication i'll be fine <laughs> what what do you mean i mean you can't uh, just self-medicate and think you're okay it would be nice for a doctor to check that out right no it's, it's fine I'll, I'll be okay all right subside you can take her to the hospital okay yes. if you say so <sighs> I, I, please just watch over her okay if anything comes up just give me a call you'll be fine inshallah okay <sighs> thank you i will leave now No, it's, it's just something in the house. Don't come and die here. Don't come and die in my house. If you want to die, carry your things and go to your mother's house, Jenjeli, and die there. Kelvin! Mm -hmm. how, how can you say such, even in this condition? It's not fair, it's not nice. Ow! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Please, I need your help, babe. I need your help. <laughs> ah! Babe, tell me.
I truly appreciate it. You should be thanking me. Mike is the person you should be thanking. I mean, he's the one that made me come home at, after all. Baby, is this He's not even start. We know who hates who here and who stabbed who in the back. So, don't stop. Can I at least make you breakfast? Thank you. I don't need it. Baby, I insist. Okay, let me make you breakfast, okay? All right. Concentrate on getting better. Uh, if you like, I eat something stupid again today. I'll not be back here to help you. So, guy, what's up now? How, how's your wife doing? How's she feeling today? Mike, you have a number. You can call her and find out yourself. I don't know. I'm talking about your wife. The one you were matrimonially wedded to. My soon to be ex wife. Look, I don't know why you keep turning these tables. I don't know why you keep doing this. It is clear already. I've been there. I'm done. See, I'm not even coming for a gimmick, so I don't even think she was really sick yesterday. She probably wanted me to just. Come back home. Do I still fall for them? I don't. You know, I've been asking God and myself what's happened to you. How you changed into this stranger I don't know anymore. I remember vividly how you sang praises about this woman. You kept singing these praises even after your marriage about how Sharon was the best thing that happened in your life. Best thing that ever happened in your life. How you wanted to spend the rest of your life with her. How you wanted to grow gray with her. What happened to all of those promises? Change. Change happened. Ever heard that change is the only constant thing? That's what happened to us. I gave her everything to betray my trust, bro. How can I still be in this on the same page with her? Everything I gave her down the drain, my trust, my resources, the vision I had for our marriage down the drain. Right now, I just want to focus on me. I just want to be happy. I see. I see you talking out of anger. You're just very angry. That is all. You still love her and you cannot deny it. You still feel something very strong for your wife. Yes. Look, man, let us assume she did it, which I am very certain about that she did not. What about forgiveness? Look, there's no perfect marriage out there. I would advise you to stick to your wife. Mike, what do you people want from me? My blood? What have I not done for Sharon? I break the bank to send her abroad every vacation. Bought her a car last year. What does she ask of me that is within my power that I don't give to her? What? She has done sin for you, girl. She has done things that no other woman can do for you. I remember when you had issues with your mother, your family members. You almost lost everything you had, but Sharon was there for you. She stood by you, she housed you, she fed you, bro. She reunited you with your family. Look, bro, you are no perfect family. Marriage is a full of ups and downs. You have to work to make yours a perfect one. Why would you be in a relationship with someone you cannot forgive? You loved her so much, that was why you married her. So why can't you forgive her? That's my past. 
How will you show this other girl even loves you? What if she's just there for the money? Isn't that why all of them are here? Women, that's all they want, right? I just want to be happy right now, Mike. I just want to be happy. And right now, Sophia makes me happy. There's nothing left with Sharon. There's nothing left there. Hey, hey, hey. And if you're going to keep coming here and keep stressing me out, I'll start avoiding you. I'll start avoiding you. See, you have not been able to do anything. The last one hour you've been here, nothing. No job done. Fine. I would leave. But before I leave, I'm going to tell you this as a brother. As a friend who cares about you. That is only you who can tell yourself the truth. The devil you know is better than the angel you do not know. And not all that glitters is gold. The last time I checked, you said you didn't want to see me again because I was telling you the truth. I'm only here because I need to discuss business with you. Don't mess it up. By the way, I saw your side chick today. So, that is the girl you are willing to abandon your wife, your family for? Mike, you know I'm just going to leave here now and not return. If you will not talk business. Look, you are my childhood friend and you cannot do without me. And that would not stop me from telling you the truth. I am going to tell you the truth every day. Sit yourself hey, 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 hey. Ah. Ah. Say the best. Sit down, sit down, sit down. What's the update? What's the update? Sit just down. Doesn't do any, doesn't do any. Sit I need to say, Shara, Shara. You could just ah. pay for these drinks now. Ah, ah. So someone cannot tell you the truth. Have you have a small truth. Can we get more drinks? What's the business, man? What's the business, man? You won't talk about it. yourself to lie in this house. Please what? Oh, stop! Stop it! I did it myself. I shouldn't be sharing the same room with you. You shouldn't be on, the, on this bed. You should, you should go to the guest room. But I, I just let it be. Let me rest. I have a long day tomorrow.
Hi. Hi. You look exceptionally beautiful. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. You said it is very important. I have an appointment in the next 45 minutes. So what's up? Sophia and Kenjika. You live at number 22, James Street. Final year student, mass communication, Draham University. Do you know that Kevin is a married man? Yes. But he's getting a divorce. Have you bothered to ask him why he is getting a divorce? Do you know that you can actually help him fix his family? Look, you are a very beautiful girl. Very, very beautiful. And I know 121 young men out there who are willing to give the word to have a lady like you but you rather a married man why would you want to destroy someone else's happiness why what? about what whatever makes you feel if he gets married to you today he won't go looking for another woman do you think you are the perfect woman in the whole world? You are destroying someone's happiness. A very happy home. A home of a fellow woman like you. Uh, sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. He never said I was the reason. Are you dumb? I am not dumb. If you are not in the picture, why is he leaving his family? Do you know you are in a huge risk right now? What if someone pulls you acid? Or you get shot tomorrow for this? Why would you want to endanger your life? All for what? To sleep with someone else's husband? Do you not have value for your life? Do you not? Look, Kelvin is my brother. His wife, my sister. And that makes them my family. I would not sit and do nothing while their marriage crumble. I would not. I am watching you. Every step you take, everywhere you go, I will be there. Don't say you are not one.
how come her number is not going through? What is going on? What is going on? She can't possibly be angry with me. I mean, I only explain to her and I even give her some money. Oh. Sophie, 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 Sophie. Uh... Hi, Sophia. Um, I've been trying to reach you. I'm not sure why your number is turned off, why I can't reach you and all. Um, I miss you, babe. Once you you turn on your phone, please call me back, huh? All right. Hi, Sophia. What happened? I've been trying to reach you all day. I, I don't understand. You what? Your life is in danger because of me. How? You can't talk. What do you mean? You can't? What, what's happening? Talk to me. Okay, you know what, I, I'll, I'll, I'll see you first thing in the morning, okay? Don't worry about it, just get some rest. I'll see you in the morning. All right, I love you. What's going on? She couldn't even reply my, I love you. I hope Sharon didn't say anything to her. That's not possible. I mean, Sharon doesn't even know her. Besides, she's not that kind of person. It's fine on. I'll find out in the morning. Something wrong with you. What's the meaning of this? Mike, is something wrong with you? You almost hit my car. Wouldn't that be better? Wouldn't it be better to send you straight to hell? What did you say to Sophia? What did you say to her? Well, Sophia, I told her the truth. I told her that you are a married man and she should stay away from you because she is breaking your home. As what? Mike, as what? As my mother? Why would you do anything like that? 
Haven't I told you to stop meddling in my affairs? Haven't I said that to you? Don't touch me again. What would you do? Eh? What would you do if I touched you? You were losing it, bro. And someone needs to call you back to order. And that is what I did. I helped you. You should be grateful. Do not get me more angry than I already am. If things do not work out between Sophia and I, you wouldn't like me. You see that version of Kelvin that's always smiling with you? You wouldn't see it. Get out! You're talking to her as what? Just don't, don't kill like, like you were. What's your business? Why are you going to talk to her? You're welcome. Will you move that to the... Welcome. Your mom called. She said you've not been taking her calls. And what did you tell her? Because I'm pretty sure you must have lied to her just to get her your good books. I didn't tell her anything. I don't believe you. Then call her and find out. I didn't tell her anything. Kelvin, we need to stop this. Okay? I don't know where we're headed, but we just need to stop. It's breaking me totally. You don't take my calls. You don't talk to me. You don't eat my food. You don't touch me as your wife. You don't make love to me. How else do you expect me to say it? We are done. I expect you to leave on your own accord. Now you still have a bit of dignity. Else, I'll have no choice but to have my lawyer serve you the divorce papers. Kelvin, I can never divorce my husband. Kelvin. It was a mistake, but you won't let it at all. Used to love me before. Just now you're a man my can't recognize. But baby, it was just a mistake. Won't you give a love a second chance? A second chance. Give a love a second chance. A second chance. Give a love a second chance. A second chance. Give a 
As I speak to you, Mike, I've done everything. I've done practically everything to make it work. But each time I try, he frustrates my efforts. I don't know, but if this is what Kelvin wants, then so be it. You, you can't talk like that. You cannot give up now. Come on, Sharon. No. I know things are really difficult with you right now, but someone has to make this work. I have tried. I've tried. I've done everything. Patience is a virtue. You, you can't give up just like that. It's not possible. You just have to give him time. He would come back to his senses. He will. Do I have to die young doing this? Like, Kelvin won't talk to me. He wouldn't want to hear me out. He can't touch me. He wouldn't want to, he wouldn't even want me to speak. What more should I do? Sharon, just like I said, time will heal everything. Just give it time. You can't give up on both of you like this. No. Look. I enjoyed and cherished the relationship both of you shared. What happened to all of that? What happened to those beautiful moments? Just, you can't give up. I still believe absolutely that both of you will come back to normalcy. Hope so. I know so. Life is full of ups and downs. Doesn't mean when you are done, you remain there. You get up. Yes. I know you people will be back to your love beds again. I know. Thank you. Everything will be fine. Thank you. Sophia, why are you doing this? Huh? Okay, can we at least go inside and talk about it? <laughs> go inside to where exactly? Kelvin, I said to you that I am no longer interested. I need you to go back to your wife and sort out whatsoever it is with her. Look, I only came out here to say it to your face because obviously you do not understand all I have been saying to you on the phone. So I am telling you now, go back and make up with your wife. Well, Sophia, don't do this. There's nothing between my wife and I anymore. I mean, you're the one that I want to be with. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Huh? Okay, let me ask you. What then happens to the love you both share? <laughs> this is obviously how you will forget me and get tired of me someday and move to another. Of course not. Why are you talking like this? Uh, look. Listen, Kelvin. I made a mistake being with you in the first place and persuading you to divorce your wife. But thank goodness someone opened my eyes. If I was in her shoes, I'll feel broken that someone out there is trying to break my home. So please, go back to your wife. I know you're a good man. You can listen to her and forgive her. I have been the one igniting all of this and I'm very sorry about that. So, what then happens to us? There is no us anymore. Kevin, Kevin, please just go. Kevin, can you just go? Please just leave her. I'll be forced to ask them to release the dogs on you. Sophia, you would release the dogs on me. Kelvin, leave. Why are you doing this? Kevin, okay.
Close, close. So I have become too small to be acknowledged. It's difficult for you to greet now. Good evening. Welcome. Is it me you're greeting in that manner? Reluctantly. Good evening. Welcome. Me. Good evening, Your Majesty. Can I rest now? It's obvious you're still drinking all those your cheap vodka. I'm hungry. Serve my dinner. There is no food. I didn't cook anything. Meaning what? So it has gotten to a point where you no longer make me dinner? Kelvin, if I can recall vividly, you warned me sternly never to cook for you because you will never eat it. And I'm heeding to your instructions. Besides, I can't remember when last you ate in this house. Well, I changed my mind. I want to eat today. And I want it now. It seems like you don't understand what I just said. I spoke simple English, which is, I did not cook, and I cannot go into the kitchen to cook for you because it's late. Is that supposed to be a joke? Do I look like I'm joking? So, I'm the one you know, you're now bantering words with. I say one, you say 20. You've grown wings all of a sudden. You've grown. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm still talking to you. Sharon! Problem, how? What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what? What are you trying to do? Can't I make love to my wife again? Which wife? Please don't touch me again. I beg of you. Come on, Sharon, don't do this. Oh, don't... please just stop now. What is this? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What's all this? What am I even doing here? No, 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 don't touch me, Fred. Leave me alone. Leave me, leave me alone, Fred.
done. Yeah. Thank you so much for breakfast. You know, I... Have a great day at work. Guys, she shocked me. She did something she's never done since we got married. I, I couldn't believe it. Do you blame her? You practically pushed her to it. There is always a limit to what someone can take. Sh Sharon didn't even let me touch her. Like, she avoided me all through. I was surprised to see her making breakfast this morning. She barely even spoke to me. I don't think she's afraid of a divorce anymore. Maybe. And why are you complaining all of a sudden? Isn't this what you always wanted? Or are you afraid of losing her? I know, it's just that, you know how this thing works. And it's just, just what? It's not just what I... What hey, I hey, hey, man. You still love your wife. You can make things work again. All you need to do is talk to her. It is not too late. What she did is just unforgivable. I can't get myself. That is why God created forgiveness. There won't be forgiveness if there is no sin. You can tell me there haven't been times when you wronged her, hurt her, did things wrong to her. You're not a saint either. But yet, we must forgive. Forgiveness plays a major role in marriage. Marriage is full of ups and downs. Ups and downs. Look, it can still work again. You can make things work within the both of you. It is not too late. Just let go. The heart, the heartbreak, the pain, let go. You can be happy again. Yeah. Hey, babe. Please, you have a minute. Um, there's this survey we're doing in the office for female wigs. I want to know how lucrative it is in the market. A friend of mine is thinking of um, collaborating with us, investing. I don't know. Sorry. But you always have ideas about... Uh, I don't know. Thank you so much, Mike. You can imagine it's all worked exactly the way you presumed. Mike, my husband is coming back to his long lost self. <laughs> At some point I got scared. I thought it was not going to work, but he did not relax. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's okay. I, I'm happy it's working, but you know, 
Kelvin is a very stubborn person and I know he's finding it very difficult to get on his knees and apologize, but we still have to help him. I miss my husband so much. I just, I just want him back. I want us back. The only thing I pray for is that he gives me a listening ear, at least to hear my own side of the story. But since then, he hasn't agreed. He has shut me out. He doesn't want to hear anything I have to say. But the truth is, I did not do it. It's not what he's thinking. And about that, Sharon, I have been meaning to ask you what happened. How exactly did it happen? Well, um, my husband um, became too busy. Too busy for me, too busy for us. Please, I can see that you really enjoyed yourself. Yes, I did. <laughs> Because if you didn't stop requesting for more, I hope you did not overfeed. Well, with you, do I have a choice? I mean, your meals are always breathtaking, so... Thank you. That means you have to pay my bright price every day. Of course, you know I make work with the tags. Let me come in, let me take the tags. Okay? I, I have to even retire. I'm so tired. So soon? Yeah. Babes. The food hasn't even digested yet. It will digest in the bedroom. They remember we're supposed to talk about my presentation. Oh yeah, that's true. Babe, can we do it tomorrow? I mean, I had a really long day. Tomorrow is even going to be worse. I, I need some rest. But you've been saying the same thing throughout this week and we haven't even had time to discuss as a couple. We've not had. I know. Okay. Mm. Please, please. Listen, Kelsey, eh? you need to learn to work hard so that I can give my beautiful baby a beautiful life. Mm? I know, but that's all we you do. Just work, mm. meetings, mm. and we don't even mm. have time for mm. us. Mm. Babe, we it. Okay, I promise you. Let's do it tomorrow. Okay. I'll get back to work tomorrow and I will sort out your presentation. If I sit down here and start listening to your presentation, trust me, I wouldn't concentrate because I'm tired. Okay? All I'm saying is that you don't have time for us and I miss us. I promise tomorrow we'll sort out everything about your presentation. Slept? Uh -uh. Why? Baby, you've been on this for a long time. Don't you think it's time to rest? Um, actually, this is very important. I just, <laughs> I just need to finish this up, and then I can come to bed. I'm, I'm almost done. But you can continue tomorrow. I've been the only one in the room, and I need you to come to bed now, please. Have you ever thought of me as Forbes, Africa's richest entrepreneur? Hmm? Yeah, but... Yeah, that's why I'm doing this for you, baby. Hmm? For you, for you, for you. Yeah, it's cool, but you need to rest now. I know, I know. It's not bad to work, but it's late. I tell you what, hmm? 
let me finish this page. I'm almost done with it. You should be done in another 10 minutes and I'll join you in the, in the bedroom. Okay? I promise. All right? Fine. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Maybe. Fine. 10 minutes, I promise. God, he's sleeping already. No, I have to wake him up. Bro. Babe. Mm. 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 You'll be tired. This tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow? Mm. Again? Really, yeah. you said this last night and you're saying it again. No, don't be like this now. Don't you find me attractive anymore? How can you even say things like that? Because I can't remember when last you touched me as your wife. Listen. No, we've not been discussing as a couple. I've happened so much to tell you, but you don't have my time. Why? Can you at least hear me out first? What do you have to say? See, um, I had a really long day at work today. Work has been really hectic. Responsibilities are growing. Our company is growing. We just employ new staff. By making more money, and I need to be hands-on to maintain the momentum. But I'll make it up to you. Mm -hmm. See, Same tomorrow, thing. tomorrow, we're going to have sex. We're going to make love anywhere you want, in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Once I come back like this, I'm all yours. Mm -hmm. okay. we just try to no, mind, please. I'm going to start tomorrow, mm -hmm. don't worry. Oh, baby, why yeah, can't you... Yeah, don't worry. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <sighs> oh, boy. <sighs> Are you already sleeping? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's your mess. Let me go. Freshen up. Yeah, babe, I'm all dressed up. Where are you? Five minutes again? You just said that 30 minutes ago. <sighs> Fine, I know, I'm waiting. All right. No, no, just when you come back, you can freshen up a bit and then get, I'm, I'm ready, I'm like, I'm ready, very much ready. All right, babe. See you. I'm waiting. <sighs> oh. Okay, I just have to wait. Birthday. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, uh, you know. I didn't expect anything less than I'm sorry. This is my birthday. Your wife's freaking birthday, Kelvin. I called you by 6 p.m. What's the time now?
It's 10.30. And I kept calling and you refused taking your calls. Is this when we're supposed to go out? Like, is this when I'm supposed to go out with my husband on my birthday? What more can you do? I had an emergency meeting. Okay. Babe, I didn't plan for my day to go this way. So, I had this set of clients that just came in from the US and they insisted on having like an impromptu meeting. They wanted to have it like, like today. I tried to push them to tomorrow, but they said it was really urgent. So my hands were tied. There was actually nothing I could do. My phone was on silence while the meeting was going on. I didn't even know you were calling me. And it's a really big, it would be big for our company. The money is huge. I, I had to work. Can That's you stop already? Stop all this, okay? What do you take me for? A piece of wood? Is this how we're going to build our marriage? Is this how we're going to work on our companionship? Babe. All you care about is work, work, work. Nothing else. Only work and making money. I'm sick and tired of it. I've said I'm sorry. I've apologized. Let me make it up to you, baby. You know what? Pick a country, a city, any city of your choice, anywhere in the world. And can, you, can you stop? Please, stop. I just want to tell you that I'm sorry. I, I mean it. Why am I even fretting my breath over this? It's not like you're willing to change. You still be the same you. So all I have to say is thank you very much for ruining my birthday. Thank you. Oh, no, babe. Don't touch me, please. I've said I'm sorry. Babe. Babe. Mommy, mommy, listen. Mommy, you know how much I don't like talking about family issues. But this particular one is driving me nuts. Yes. I've talked to him, I've spoken to Kelvin, not once, not twice, uncountable times, but he keeps saying he will change, but mommy, he's getting worse by the day. Mommy, listen. Do you know that I can't remember when last my husband touched me? It's that bad. He's always busy. It's always his work first. Mom, you're saying this because you're not here. Okay, let me shock you. Do you know that my husband, Kelvin, stood me up on my own birthday? He didn't, he didn't show up. We were meant to go for a birthday dinner, but he didn't show up because he was at work in a meeting. Patience? Mom, you know I'm the person you're supposed to talk about patience to. You know I'm a very patient woman, but this is beyond that, Mom. It's beyond patience. I've, I've tried. I've... Is this how we're going to make babies? Because he's never around, mom. Listen, just, just try. I don't know. He's driving me crazy. I'm really getting tired. Help me talk to him. Okay? All right, thanks, mom. I know, I know. I'm trying. Okay, mom. Bye-bye. Take care. Sharon! Oh my god, Paul! Sharon! Ah! Oh my goodness, Paul! <laughs> Sharon! <laughs> Sharon! Is this you? Good to see you! Good to see you too! Ah! Good to see you! 
You're not looking bad. You are looking so beautiful as always. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Oh my goodness. Um, the last time I saw um, TK was about four years ago. And then he told me that you're in the UK. Yes, I, I left immediately after graduation. You know how it is. Oh. Trying to survive. But honestly, I never stopped thinking about you. I mm. remembered all the beautiful moments we shared in school days. Everything. <laughs> Paul, I'm married. I'm taken. Oh, um, it's been a long time. I mean, I wish I was fast enough to be the one. Oh, come on, Paul. Life happens, okay? I know. Um, what are you doing here? When did you get back? Uh, I came in like two months ago, but I came to this city two weeks ago. Oh, cool. There's this investment I'm trying to survey. Okay. You know? Why don't we go to somewhere nice so we can sit, have a drink and talk, babes? I mean, it's been ages. Okay, um, that would have been cool, but I'm running an errand for my mother-in-law. Oh. Yeah, but not to worry. You're still around, right? Yeah, I'm still around. Okay, fine. Why don't we catch up some other time? Is that okay? Perfect. So let me just get your number. We'll cool. talk. Your phone. Let me get you from the car. Sure. Paul. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay. I'll call you. Sure, I'll be expecting. Uh, is this your house? Um, no, I came to see your friend. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Do have a great day. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. All right. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. You still look so charming. Thank you. <laughs> and you too. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. Of course. It will take about two working days within Lagos. Three working days. At most four. We live up promptly. Yeah. Please give me a minute. Give me a minute. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Because there's no way to wait. Oh, my business call is very important. Wait, you've been on that call for hours now. If it wasn't important, I will not be doing it now. I need to do this. Uh, don't do this, eh? Wait, wait, wait. Baby, come back now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm tired of thinking you could yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Because every day I lose you the more. I lose you the more. But wasn't so, 500,000? But you won't let stay in it. Yeah, but, uh, for that. So it depends on how many you want. You can do as much as a thousand. So you can come and inspect as well. That's not a problem. If you want to inspect, you can send all the people. Prototypes have been sent already. Okay. How long will that be? <laughs> boss, boss. I understand, I understand, but if we can make if we can make it too, it would be great.
Hello, Paul. What is it? Why are you calling me? Paul, do you realize I'm a married woman and I'm supposed to be in bed now with my husband? What is it? Paul, please, please listen. Everything, like you said back then, is in the past. The past is gone. It's in the past. There's nothing that can happen between the both of us anymore. And please, you should know this. I'm a married woman. Please stop, okay? Just stop it. Paul, I am married. And if my husband gets to hear what you're saying, he's not going to take it lightly. Please, I beg you. My husband is a lovely man. I love him so much. I love him with every of my existence. And I wouldn't want to hurt him. I'm married. So please, I beg you. I don't want us to have this conversation anymore. Stop calling me. Or better still, delete my number. All right? Paul, please, I beg you. If this is what you always call me to tell me, delete my number. I mean, it's been years and you've survived. You've survived all these years, so it's not going to be difficult to do. Don't ever call me at this odd hour, ever. I am a married woman. Have a good night rest. Like it? Yeah, really good actually. It's Thank you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sure you don't want to take that? I mean, it's been ringing for a while now, and very important. No, um, <laughs> it's just an old school friend I bumped into recently at the supermarkets. Oh. He wants my advice on a new business venture, but <laughs> I can't take this call. He doesn't even know when to call. I can't take it now. Probably he? call him back. Yeah. Um, babe, you know. This old school mates can be quite funny. Please don't even go there. Of course he knows I'm married. And you're here, always, and you're okay. always here. <laughs> so nothing like that is happening, okay? I'll handle it, I'll call him back. I just don't want to peek now because you know such calls can be quite long. That's fine, I understand. Okay. I'm just glad that my baby is an expert in business management. You know, you should actually start charging for that. Really? Yes. I've never thought about this. Oh my God, this is great. Okay, so I have to start with you first. You know why? Why? You know why? It's fine. <laughs> We're equal to the test. Good. But you need to also pay me for this idea. But you will pay for it. Without me, you don't have no money. There's something there. No way you pay me, I'm going to pay you for the idea. How, how about that? <laughs> okay, we can work with something. We can work with that. <laughs> now, to the newest business management expert in mm. town. <laughs> Thank you. It tastes so good. One more? No, no, fine. Okay. Ah, my beautiful damsel, always glowing. Baby, I don't know why you chose an outdoor for us to meet. Because I'm going to block you after this conversation. I wanted to see you face to face so that you can get the point. Really? You missed nothing about us? Oh my God, for crying out loud, Paul. I am married and I feel nothing for you. The only person I feel something for is my husband, and that's exactly how it should be. I need you to get this, okay? Baby, I miss you. I miss us. I miss everything Paul, that we shared. Paul, Paul, please. 
there are one million and one girls out there. I mean, single girls out there ready to mingle. Why don't you just pick one, all right? Get one and start a beautiful life with her. I am not available. Sharon. Listen, I lied to my husband because of your pesky calls, and I really regret doing it. And let me tell you this, I am not going to do that again because I'm going to block you once we're done with this conversation. You know what? Delete my number. After this conversation, we never saw. You never met me again. All this never happened. Please. Oh, Sharon, don't be like this. Have a good life. Sh Sharon, baby, baby. Okay. If this is how you want to play it, let's watch and see. Wait, wait. Who, how did you get here? Well, how did you get to know my house? You blocked me. I never had that line I tried to reach you with. Why? Paul, please, um, this is not the right place, okay? We, we can't discuss this here. This is my husband's house and he will send me back from work. Please. Just, just how much you hate me now. I was once the love of your life. What happened? Tell me. Paul, please, I can't discuss this here. I want you to leave, please. Baby. We can talk later. Leave, please. Even if you don't love me, can't I still be your friend? Paul, please, my husband will soon be back from work. I want you to leave this place this minute. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Oh, my God. I had plans that when I returned, I was, I was going to surprise you and build a beautiful family with you. Listen. How about the plans we had in school days? Tell me. Okay, Paul, baby. that was then, okay? I, don't touch me, okay? I want you to leave now. Please, I don't want to do anything nasty. Just leave. It's, it's over, okay? Just go. Get, get off me. Baby, What's wrong on. with you? Tell me you don't miss me because I miss everything I do not you. miss. Get out! Baby, I, come on. No, get, no, no, no. Baby, get out of me. Get out. Baby. Go. Go. Baby. Leave me alone. Get out. Baby. Oh, get off me. Come get on. out. Oh, have you seen it? I told you to come, let's go to the hotel, but you wouldn't listen. Me? He's I'm telling sorry. lies, babe. Uh, He's telling lies. Don't <laughs> explain to you, okay? You just need to, to, to listen. Let me explain. Do not touch me. How dare you? How dare you bring a man into my house? Baby, please. Baby, please believe me. Leave every word I say to you now, please. I didn't bring him here. He tried forcing himself. Will you me. shut up? I swear, I don't even know how he I got here. I didn't know what I saw. I saw him right here on top of you. So this is it. So this is what you have been doing. Of course, you didn't know I was going to be back this time. Of course, you're married to a husband that's always out trying to make ends meet so that you can feed. No, baby, please, no. 
Believe me, babe. He's I... the one you've been hiding from me. No! I've continually asked you about this guy. You've been sneaky! <gasps> sneaky in the past two weeks! I can't want to tell him lies, baby. I didn't bring him. Let me explain to you, okay? This if you call me baby one more time, just one more time, I swear I'm going to blow out every tooth you have in your mouth. How dare you? You do this to me after everything I've done for you. I wouldn't do it to you, babe. I can't. I didn't do it. I'm not telling lies, babe. I can never. I can't do this to you. I, I, I don't know how he got here. I don't know how he got here. I'm not telling lies. Believe me. I I'm not telling lies, baby. I didn't bring him. Let me explain to you, okay? This. If you call me baby one more time, just one more time, I will blow out every tooth you have in your mouth. I think I didn't bring him. After everything I've done. You do this to me. I didn't bring him here, babe. I can't even think of doing it. I didn't bring him here, believe me. I didn't bring him here, babe. I'm not telling lies. Please listen to me. I will make you regret this. You hear me? You would regret it. Bring him here. Bring him here, babe. I'm not telling lies, darling. You need to listen to me. I didn't bring him here. Calvin, my love. Calvin, please. I can't do anything. I can't even think of doing such to you or our marriage. Baby, I was going to tell you, right? Um, Paul is, is, Paul was an old school boyfriend, but I swear, I swear I didn't do anything with him. I can't even think of such, babe. No, listen, I meant, I mean, please listen to me. I beg of you, please listen to me. I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't. Just hear me out. I didn't do it. You not just listen to me. I didn't do anything like that. How can I even think of such? Hey babe, good morning. I'm almost done. Let me get you breakfast, okay? Babe, please. My darling, please, I'm so sorry. Very sorry, I didn't do it. I swear. It's stopping me. Stop touching me! Stop touching me! I swear if your hand touches me one more time, I will kill you and bury you under this bed and nobody will ever find you. Oh, 
this now, eh? What is all this? The MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Oh, you better come out from wherever you're hiding. Come out from wherever you're hiding, no? Come out and right your wrong. Come out. Come and explain to my husband that all this never happened. What's this problem? You just want to end my marriage. Why do you want to end my marriage now? Your customer. Oh my god. Well, oh, if anything happens to my marriage, if anything happens to my marriage, I swear to God, you will suffer. You will suffer. I curse the day I ever met you. I curse the time I ever set my eyes on. I curse the day I set my eyes on you. Oh my God, I regret giving you my number. What is all this, Paul? Paul. Babe. Sweetie, you're welcome. Hey. Um, Kelvin, Kelvin, baby, I can explain, okay? Let me tell you everything that happened. I'm sure you know that by now, this marriage is over. No. <laughs> Do you need a prophet to say to you? The only reason you're still here it's because of my mother. Spoken to my lawyers already. They will be in touch. No, 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 no. Please, babe, I can't explain. We, we can't just end this marriage. Please, we can't end this. Let me tell you everything that happened. You I... disgust me. Sharon, do you think that I've ever had anything to do with you? Irritates me. You should be on the streets of Lagos. That's exactly what happened. I didn't do it. And I pleaded with him that he gives me a listening ear, but he refused. I didn't do it. I can never even think of doing it. You know, now I understand why Kelvin has been the way he is. Your complaint about him not satisfying his marital duties. He has capitalized the need to judge you and conclude. Yes. It's, it's completely not his fault. It's not your fault either. I, I blame that bastard. Because he was the one who got both of you into this mess and eluded. And I know Kama will catch up with no, him. No, please, Mike. There's no need for that. Truly, within myself, I've forgiven him. And my only prayer is that he turns a new leaf and change. Well, that's kind of you. You know, money is not everything. Money makes marriage sweet, yes. But there are other things more to money and that is exactly what Kelvin failed to understand. He gives you everything financial wise, yes he does. But what about your physical and emotional needs? These things keep the marriage working can do without, oh God, Kelvin. But you know, you should have told him about the other guy. I, I know you thought it was something you could handle, but one mistake can actually destroy everything, can make everything go south. I'm not judging you, neither am I condemning you, but I'm just saying, and that's why I travel every weekend to see my wife. I, I can decide to stay here, but I need to go to keep the marriage working. I just hope we all have learned something from the whole situation. I will talk to Kelvin. 
and I know he will do what is right for both of you. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you so much. I don't know, I don't know how all of this would have been possible without you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate. Thanks for being a friend. Gratitude Thanks. accepted. You've been a nice person to you had patience so I have this strong feeling. I can feel it. You're about to have your marriage back again. I can't wait. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to I'll talk to him. Please do. He Please. should know what to do right now. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Kelvin, I know you still love her. Trust me, like, I am certain it didn't happen the way you thought it did. If only you can keep her a listening ear and get to hear her explanations, you would understand more. How? How do I do that? She's not even giving me a chance to talk to her. I don't have access to my wife anymore. Do you blame her? She has gone through a lot lately. Did you blame her? But none of this is my fault as well. I mean... Hey, <laughs> hey. You need to put this pride aside. You need to take away this pride. This ain't enough of the blame game. She is your wife and you know the best way to talk to her. I know you can. Apologize to her. You're about to enjoy the most peaceful moments of your life, your marriage, than you've ever experienced. I think I know what to do. Okay. And I want you to know that anytime you need anything, I will be here to help you. Thanks, my love. Sure. I mean, <laughs> your wife is so lucky to have you. You, you are the best husband <laughs> anyone can have. I would not totally agree with you. We both make it work. In fact, I would say I am the lucky one to have her. So, you also make yours work. Here you go, babe. Uh, thank <laughs> you. Oh. So how is the product design coming up and when are you guys planning to launch? Oh, it's coming up really well. Uh, we're planning to launch at the end of the month, hopefully. End of the month? Yes. Are you guys ready that fast? I mean, we've spent so much on this project already. We need to launch as soon as possible. Well, yeah, I know, but I don't think you guys are ready. Babe, because, you know, promotion is a key tool in marketing because it helps you attract the minds of customers. I know. So, what are you suggesting? Well, this consumers, babe. They've had an existing product, a product they're used to, a product they've been using for so many years. Mm. 
And how do you think within a twinkle of an eye they'll rush over from theirs to yours? Do you get it? So I think for you to capture their minds, for you to make them abandon the existing old product to yours, you have to do something different and then the uniqueness of your product too, and then pricing too. So if I get you correctly, you're suggesting that we move, it will be best to shift the product launch um, in order to be able to implement all these things. Yes, babe, if you ask me, my candid advice is yes. And if you adhere to this instruction, I mean to this advice, it will yield a massive outcome, trust me. Uh, I mean, we have announced dates already. I don't know how that will be, but I'll speak to my partners and see if it's something we can work on. But valid points you've made, though. So is it yes? Like I said, I'll speak to them. Cool. And so if this works out mm. and you yield something really massive, what's my cut? I will talk to my partners and get back to you. Babe, I need to know what I stand to gain. I will talk to my partners and get back to you. <laughs> no, I need to know now. I need to know now. Tell me. <laughs> to great product launch. To your wife's idea. Right, you're proud. <laughs> Oh, nice. So, interface is ready. Mm -hmm. I think um, you should change this, this particular one, and turn it over to this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My darling, hey. welcome. <laughs> hey. You're welcome. Hope Thank you had a nice day. I had an amazing, amazing day. <laughs> You're welcome. So good to be back home to the most beautiful woman on earth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I should be saying thank you to you. Why? Thank you for, baby, you know that you have the best ideas. Thank you. And you give the best advice. Thanks. <laughs> Guess what? What? Guess. Try. You know I'm not good with guessing. <laughs> I can't guess. 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 I can't. What happened? So, the idea you brought about our product mm -hmm. worked. You did? Now that product within two weeks has been the best seller ever. I told you! <laughs> our best seller. I'm so happy for you, babe. Okay. Mm. Yay. I have a little something, just a tiny little something for you. Okay, where is it? Close your eyes. It's, it's really small though, very small. It can enter your palm. Okay. Close your eyes. Turn around. Whoa, my hands. Okay. Hold on. All right. Close that. Can I open up? Yeah, find out. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's packed outside. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't. Like right there. No, 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 I think I want some from there. You want some from here? Mm hmm Okay, just mix it. And have some. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Let's take some pictures. Let's take some selfies. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> My baby, my baby. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. I think you're looking better. No, 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 you're no, looking no, no, better. no. I look better. How? Yeah. No, no, no. From here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 that's my own. That's, that's mine. mine. Take your ice cream. No, I'm not giving it to you. That's mine. <laughs> it's mine. Let me be. Okay, you really? want to get one? No, okay, have it. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Thank you. Mine? Of course. I will. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Love you, love you, love you. And I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. So now I have two to yes, myself. Yes, you have two. I two to have everything. Have everything. Mm, have everything. Good evening. I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, How was your day at work? Yeah, I had a pretty good day. Okay, I cooked. Will you eat? Yeah, sure, I would. Uh, but I just go and freshen up and then come down and have it. All right, let me get ready. Thank you for agreeing with to eat with me. You're welcome. It's actually so delicious. I've missed your cooking so much. I've missed your compliments over my meal. Really? Oh, wow, I, I didn't know um, you looked. Me. Table manners. Okay? Oh, table manners. If we have to stop talking and eat, we still have all the time in the world to talk. I know, it's just that I've really missed you. You're, and, you're still talking. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs>
babe. We cannot continue like this. I know I, I messed up. I made a mistake. I was so angry that I jumped into a conclusion. I shouldn't have. I mean, I, I picked a total stranger over my wife. I threw away the trust we've shared for years and I didn't believe you. It's not entirely your fault. I I would have told you about Paul. Maybe you wouldn't have acted the way you did. No, but I would have I should have believed you still. I should have. I mean We've been together for so long to know what you can do and what you can you wouldn't do. I should have believed you still. I mean, we have been together for so long. Right now, I should know what you can do and what you wouldn't do. I'm sorry. If we want to be totally sincere to ourselves, I neglected my marital duties. I was never available for you. Which is why this thing scripted. in. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I miss us. I miss us so much. I miss you too. I miss us. I miss us. Paul. Mike reached out to him. reached out to him but for some awkward reason he has been avoiding us he thinks we want to harm him or something he says that life has been quite terrible for him as well the lady absconded with all he made all his money I guess what goes around comes around yeah he confessed that he only did what he did because he wanted to get back at you for turning him down. I have let him go. I've forgiven him. I, I hold nothing against him. I just want you to forgive me. Thank you, babe. Thank you so much. I've forgiven him too. I'm forgiving you too. I'm never letting you leave my side again. I miss us too much. <laughs> but really, babe, your food is still the best in the whole world. Thank you. <laughs> Please pass me your bag. This is really delicious. That's that's my wife. Mm -hmm. That's my wife. That's my wife for you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, guys, guys, guys. Mm -hmm. I want to make a toast. I'm, I'm so grateful for this moment. Your glasses, please. Oh. <laughs> I'm grateful for this new opportunity to live a new life. I'm grateful for how beautiful this new life is. And especially, I want to say thank you to you, Mike. Uh -huh. Thank you for making this possible. 
I mean, even in our in our struggles and our weakness, you were that friend. You still were a brother. You were family. And I pray for you this day that you will live long mm -hmm. and yeah. you will keep making great impact. Amen. I mean, you're someone that we all need in our corner. Everyone needs a friend like Mike. Exactly. Everyone <laughs> needs a friend like Mike. We all need a friend like Mike. Mike, thank you so much for being God knows I have a special place in my heart. More special than the place you have. No! no okay, just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. They know all I'm saying is that I'm so grateful for everything. Your support, your help, everything. May God bless you immensely. Amen. Amen. And amen. I am very happy as well to witness this day, you know. This is one prayer point I have been making, one wish I have been making to come true, and here we are. So, to the new beginning. <laughs> to the new beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Wakey, wakey. <laughs> nice sleeping, beauty. Good morning, babe. Good morning. I can't seem to get my eyes off you. Hmm? Darling, you make me beautiful. I do. <laughs> You know, I was thinking, I want us to go renew our, our vows. Mm -hmm. I want us to go to church, get a pastor, nothing grand, just um, our family and a few friends. Um, yeah, small ceremony. And that way we can also get to share our story. You know what we have gone through in this marriage and how we overcame and how god used a friend not even a family person to bring us healing and transformation you never know you never know who we can help i mean there are a lot of marriages and a lot of couples who are going through some of the things we have gone through some even worse and our story would help you know encourage them and they too can find healing. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but what do you think? That's a splendid idea. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it, right? Yeah. You see that I have amazing, amazing ideas. You should be paying me now. No. You should be paying me now. You should be paying me now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for taking this coconut head back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your understanding, for your patience, for your love, for the peace you have given me, okay. for being so okay, patient that's already. Okay. So. Thank you. That's okay. That's okay. I need to stop. I just want to get my wife. I miss you so much. Let's go. Tired of thinking you could.
could change Cause every day I lose you the more It was a mistake But you won't listen at all You used to love me before Now you're a man I can't recognize Baby, it was just a mistake Won't you give a love a second chance? A second chance Give a love a second chance A second chance Give a love a second chance A second chance Give a love a second chance A second Yes. Won't you give a love a second give a chance? Give a love a second chance. A second chance. I'm tired of thinking you could change. Cause every day I lose you the more. It was a mistake, but you won't listen at all. You used to love me before, now you're a man I can't recognize. Baby, it was just a mistake. Won't you give a love a second chance? A second chance. Give a love a second chance. A second. Give a love a second chance. A second chance. Give a love a second chance. A second chance. Give a love a second chance. 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 A second ch